Hey guys, welcome back to Booze Reviews in Black and White. I'm D'Amico. That dude over there is Bane. And this, actually she needs no more introductions. She's Brittany. Uh, she's going to be our new staple. <laughs> can, can you be uh, a regular occurrence? On I'm very on the spot. I might. Awesome. Yeah, sweet, <laughs> sweet, sweet. All right, so we're finishing up our uh, red wine throwdowns. We have three Spanish wines uh, here today. Daku, we're going to start off with. Um, let's jump right into these because I don't want this video to be too long. For the viewers. Yeah. What are you smelling? Black cherry, black raspberry, Bang. and pork belly. In that order. <laughs> you know, I, I'm with you on the pork belly. Um, the other two aren't as apparent. A little bit of smokiness almost. Hmm. This is very hard for me to explain. Um, there's a lot going on here. And it blends really well. Dark fruits. Mm -hmm. um, generalizing it jammy um, jammy yep how about you anything different fat, just, I, I got just a fat. lot of a lot of game a lot of fat i'm not getting the fruits as much i think it as you fellas are i i just i it's a very it makes me hungry it's a wine that makes me hungry and on the taste first Let's taste ready <clears throat> you know what for those of you that uh have the hunters, the sportsmen in your families uh, for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Definitely try to find this. Uh, I know a lot of people that do like uh, lasagnas, a little less traditional, uh, but even more like venison. Uh, we're in Minnesota, so we got a lot of hunters out here. But wild game on the table, um, boy. I was I was this, thinking this even works. this one could go with uh, even something lighter too for like oh, Thanksgiving, for sure. like for a, sure. a turkey or something. It's, it's got that property that where it's it's not too bold, it's not too light, it's right in the center. It's going to mm -hmm. go with a whole bunch of different foods, and it's going to add a lot of quality to it. As far as first taste, like you were mentioning, a lot of cherry, a lot of cherry. Plenty, plenty, but medium body, medium balanced. Mm -hmm. I would do something spicy with it. I would like a spicy sausage. Uh, a soup mm -hmm. that's um, not cream based. I think this is great, actually. Oh, this is sure. really could do a lot of things, and uh, I can see entertaining with it. If I had to rate it, mm -mm. 86, 87, 87. I'm gonna step back two steps. When Bane said turkey, I wouldn't do it necessarily with all turkeys. Depends on how you make it. Um, but if you have a little spice in your turkey, or you deep fry your turkey. For sure, this is where to go. Daku, uh, Spain, funny little label. Find it if you can. I don't know how much it is, but wow, this is good. I'm going to give this an 88 points. Wow, that's great. Um, I'm going to stick with a, probably an 85. But all good ratings. Sure. Yeah. Let's move on. Let's move on to the Zestos. Zestos. Zestos Red. Another that, Spanish. That one is 50%. Uh, Grenache, fifty percent Tempranillo, another Spanish uh, number. I don't think any of us have tried this wine. No, nope. A first. Thank you, Bane. You're welcome. On the nose. Immediately, alcohol. Heat and something else. <laughs> mm. I agree with the heat. I don't know what Definitely. else that is. It's it's subtle. But it's different. I, mean, I don't think I've ever come just, across that. Just like the Zestos, I mean, again, a little bit of cherry. A little cherry, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a sound, you know, the same, but yeah, I mean, you're talking about the same region and everything. Let's Definitely give it a try so we know what that's, uh, that other is, the end or. Mm. What do you got? <laughs> same thing. I'm, you know, I'm getting the cherries. I'm getting... Uh, some brightness to it but it's not overpowering it's a very um, right up front it gives you the fruit it goes away fast a um, little bit of earthiness too a hint of soil yep uh, the cherries for sure are prominent um, but I'm getting dried red currant 
Yeah, yeah. I said current, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> there's tons of sugar in this, I think. Mm -hmm. I think that there's, um, it's kind of, it, it seems like an undertone, but it finishes so, uh, so abruptly that it's, it's almost unnoticeable. Kinda, right, right. It's not, I would do this for dessert. I would do it with, um, angel food i think something like that would be nice and balanced it's big it's definitely. bold it's definitely good i have yet to hit that point where i do red wine and angel food oh get there but i'm gonna go chocolate <laughs> yeah no, or something lightly sweetened like a like a mascarpone cheese with something else to it some sort of a red fruit uh a, a compote or a, a glaze or some sort. Raspberry turtle cheesecake. See, you already, yeah. You already know how it is. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we keep inviting you back. Mm. Last right. but not least. Yeah, creme de la creme. <laughs> protocolo, protocolo. Um, a lot of you are probably seeing this showing up uh, on your wine bar, uh, wine lists. Um, more of a, a restaurant house wine. Uh, personally, I think it's fantastic. Um, at least uh, past vintages, I've not had this one. Because we're on what, 2009? Is that 2009 vintage? Yep, 2009. You got it. We were just talking a little earlier, we have been regular subscribers to each and every vintage since For 2005 sure. at yep. least. This yep. is. This is a gem, and it's going to be exciting to try the new vintage. These guys, I'm new, uh, brand new to this wine. Um, at first sniff, sounds a little corny. Um, liking it right away. <laughs> first sniff. <laughs> Make a movie. Cue music. <laughs> um, I get um, mm. dried earth fall. For sure. Definitely. Um, gosh, that like the autumn smell that's in the air when you kind of know it's. It's moved from summer. That's definitely what I get. Definitely some rose petals mixed in with some bright fruits. Uh, I, I, you know, I get the dried fig stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, the old worldish coming through. But yeah, I mean, there's there's like this uh, flower petally mm -hmm. aroma. For sure, it's just, floral. It's hanging in there. He's getting romantic on us. <laughs> what are you I'm, gonna, I'm gonna step it up a notch. Um, I know there are gonna be some. Uh, wine nerds and wine geeks out there that'll probably get mad at this comment um i'm gonna sidestep the spanish wine and uh i'm getting a little bit of almost dried fruited super tuscan well we'll do a, a show on super tuscan uh, <laughs> at some point but boy if you've ever had a, a nice super tuscan uh baby super tuscan for sure this is on the nose. One of the fun things about this wine, note the color, it's it's got a more ruby to it than uh, you would think for the nose and definitely for the palate, but I'm You're excited right, to yeah. try it. Let's give it a shot. Now I just had this and there's an overpowering sense of like a, a tangerine. Would that be, would that be right? Are you guys tasting something like that? I'm not getting tangerine. Not tangerine? There's, there's something like a not a tropical fruit, but something like a, like an orange or mm. something like that. What is that? I can't... I taste can't a lot of fruit. One. I definitely taste Tons a lot of, of fruit. fruit. Um, oh, great. For my last comment, I'm going to scratch that. Uh, the nose, it smelled like Super Tuscan, but on the palate, long way to go. I'm sorry. Pretty uh, different. I'm going to put Very this differently. Different. Now that it's kind of settled. Sangria. In a way. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, mm. that's it. It's a uh, mandarin orange, maybe. Uh, it's, oh, that's uh, it. Yeah, that's, little. See, you know I hate oranges, so I know that <laughs> as much. I couldn't, I couldn't pinpoint it, but there it is. Yes. Mandarin orange. Small, tight uh, fruit. Let this breathe, though. Give it a chance. This is great. Yeah. Plenty of flavor. A lot of I character. I wouldn't go fresh mandarin. But like more like the Del Monte <laughs> canned mandarin, <laughs> the little, little segments you get in the can full of syrup. With a girl uh, on it, with a just hat, a, with the fruit. Right, right. <laughs> just, just a hint of that, though. Uh, way, no, to, you're, way to kill it, Tamika. No, no. I, I, no, I applaud that you picked that up because I didn't get it until you said that, and then it's like, oh. Sangria's right. Sangria's right on, yeah. For sure. Mm. Um, 
Yeah, a lot of sangrias are made with a dry red Spanish mm -hmm. wine. So yeah, that's, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's perfect. Only natural. All yeah. right, what are we gonna rate this one? I need to separate myself from my past vintages of Protocolo. Mm. I still love this wine. Uh, it's very simple. I mean, seriously, guys, you can find that for about eight dollars a bottle. So. Um, I'm going to push this up there a little bit more. I'm going to give it 88, 88 points. Wow. 88 points. Impressive. You, you're going lower than that, it sounds like. I, I think I am. Um, haven't had anything like this before. Uh, a sangria tasting wine is something that uh, I would consider to be lower shelf. Um, and I'm going to rate it as is. I'm going to rate it something like an 82. Mm. I love, That's pretty good still. I, I, yeah. I love bold, spicy, big, red wine. This is great. I think you should let it breathe and enjoy for it. Sure. I think newbies should try it. I think for sure. people that have liked it for a while should try this vintage. I'm 89, 80, 90. I'm in the 9.0. This is big. Like Brittany said, those of you that haven't quite hit the red wine uh, trend yet, uh, or drinking wine, white wines for now, mm -hmm. uh, that would be a good stepping off point to jump into the red wines. Uh, Protocolo, uh, Spanish, I don't, I believe it's Tempranillo, maybe Grenache, yep. I don't remember. Yep. Exactly. It's a um, but for sure, definitely. Cool. Well, uh, definitely try some of these wines if you can find them. Um, and thanks for watching us again. Please subscribe. And uh, we'll be back with some more for you. Peace. Peace.